Canyon Ambush, of course, is featured in a canyon with lots of places to ambush. Shocking, I know, right? Uh, it's a very, it's a very, uh, it's a very good map. I love this map. It's a community favorite uh, for close range. Uh, lots of places to ambush. Short range and mid range are typically king on this map. As we go through the ship callouts, ship number one is the Zaf's Meat Bicycles, piloted by Magic Metal Man. We have that carrot we talked about earlier, Caro and Art Front. With the double flare side, ship number two is the Sundari Baka. It is piloted by Luharis. It is a kill squid. Gatling front banshee side in a mine launcher on the back. Take it away. Ship number three on the blue team. This is Sorrow. It's a watch a fish piloted by Finks. Of course, that means watch a front. Carinade on the port and starboard has a Gatling number four. The uh, Menet or Mene, I'm not sure, uh, is Artemis front squid uh, piloted by Aris with... Uh, Gatling on the side, and a Banshee at the rear. Could they potentially be going for a... Now, I've seen this build before. If I remember correctly, Arius is going to keep the front going until he's ready to go kill Squid, and then go reverse Squid from there. That's definitely a possibility. I remember the first time I saw that particular Squid, it was actually piloted by uh, Finks, and it was mostly... He would keep the, the uh, Artemis running for the kill, and the disable power coming from whoever was shooting that single Artemis was just astounding. As it looks like uh, Storm Riders is opting to split push here. Sorrow and Sundari Baka flying around. Oh, wait a minute. Sorrow turning around. Did they see the Sundari Baka? That was a very sharp turn. In fact, it looks like they did. Yep, they have the rear of the Sundari Baka. Let's see uh, how he reacts to this. This be a good time for a little bit of ink and a little bit of hydro. Oh, oh good job by the Sundari Baka, anticipating the Watcher right there and getting the kill side on the Sorrow. At the very least, a good maneuver. Indeed, and also balloon blocking the few uh, Watcher rockets that did come out. However, Mine is right on Sundari Baka. Yes. I, I guess worst case scenario dodged, but best case scenario not achieved as the Huacha once again goes in. Oh, the Zaf's Meat Bicycle with a great sandwich right there on the Minette. Wow. wow a perfect ram kill. Inside. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow, Baby Zeal Club really coming to play here today. They've been improving in recent tournaments, but my goodness, where did that one come from? I didn't even see it coming. As these, <laughs> wow! I mean, I'm I'm borderline speechless on that one. Uh, you don't see Arius make a mistake like that often either. As these ass meat bicycle, this is this is vintage, uh, vintage uh, magic metal man here. Pure aggression. Just wow! Watch you know, it going out for a few minutes. That. Uh... That the Sundar Baka was just going to be left out there alone by himself. Sorrow with a and huge mistake! Hole break and ramming into the environment as well, too! My goodness! Sundari Baka is smelling blood right here! They're going for the kill right now! They're not waiting! There's a hole break right there on the Sorrow! Balloon break right there on the Sorrow! They put, th put that hole back up! Sorrow is pretty much dead in the water! They're done! 2-0 in favor of Baby Zeal Club! My goodness! Where has oh, this Baby absolutely. Zeal Club been? plays on the part of the Baby Zeal Club. Uh, th hang on a second. That that deserves a slow clap right there. That deserves a slow clap. I I am impressed. Baby Zeal Club, finally. I, even if they lose this match, I'm just going to say this right now. Baby Zeal Club has finally arrived here in SCS. This is finally what we've been waiting for from this side. They have shown flashes of brilliance in several of the past tournaments, and now it looks like they're finally starting to put it together, and it's about time. Even if they lose this match, they have shown that they belong here in SCS finally. Indeed, looking forward to seeing how the rest of this match plays out. We've got the red team pushing relatively aggressively into the, the blue spawn. Yeah, it looks like they're However, just going to scout, though. Yeah, that's what it's looking like right now. Let's see how the blue team responds to this. Well, Meat Bicycle still unspotted right now. They have exactly the same scenario except for the part where the Baka uh, was going in as opposed to out. Meat Bicycle looks like they'll probably probably be spotted any second here. In fact, they should have a sight line on the Meat Bicycle any moment. They should have it right now. In fact, they do. 
Yep, bicycle's rising up, make sure he's got uh, an Artemis shot on the Watch of the Sorrow. Indeed. They do not want the Baka to go uh, to lose engines. Looks like Red is doing a s slow tactical retreat here. Not liking their current position. And looks like they've decided now's the time. Baka moving in. Watch it going out. Most of those going into the balloon, though. Uh, no engines disabled on the Baka. Only one gun going down. Looks like that would be the rear gun of the Baka, so they're still in play for the kill squid. Meanwhile, it looks like a couple of, uh, yep, a couple of flares went out for spots. Baka has been hullbroken. Minette and Baka are going at each other right now. This is not a 1v1 that, that, uh, Baby Zeal Club wants. They probably want to get into 2v1 situation. The Carrot, however, I do like that matchup against the Sorrow, but I do not like the Minette versus the Baka here. In fact, the Indeed. Baka is losing this very, very badly. There's a hole break, however, on the Minette. Gatling's raining down on both sides. It. Yeah, it looks like Baka's going to lose this engagement right about here. And they, in fact, they do. Stormrider's on the board, 2-1. Meet Bicycle, meanwhile, get it. Oh, they just ate a Watcher right there. Not losing engines, though. They might still be able to escape. Not much of an escape, though, as the Minette might chase. Yeah, it looks like uh, Blue Team's going to push the power play here. Indeed they are, as they are burning those engines backwards here. Magic Middle Man has, um, does not have Kerosene. They have Moonshine. That's going to hinder their ability to escape. However, it looks not like they're going to... Not if he's smart. However, remember, there is a squid in play. And said squid is using kerosene. Well, now he's not. He's now cut off the escape. Meat Bicycle has been hole broken. Looks like this may be the end of the Meat Bicycle. In fact, it will be the end of the Meat Bicycle. All guns down, one engine down. Stuck with nowhere to go, up or down. Gatling raining down. It's all but a matter of time here. Meat Bicycle almost down, and the Gatlings may do it. Yes, the Gatlings will do it. All tied up at two. Baka has realized that it's time to stay put and spawn. Dude, I think he might have actually uh, force spawned there, just given the amount of time it took. He was actually spawned earlier. Um, he just chose not to engage, probably was called off by his ally. Uh, he was not force spawned in, though. Ah, yes. Either case, uh, prudent move staying put. Indeed. Just looking at the engagement here, it looks like the only one that was able to do something in that engagement, the Baka put on about 10% permahull on the Minette. Beyond that, Red was not able to push their advantage. However, they do still have the tiebreaker in their pocket, so that is one advantage. However, this match is going very quickly, and that tiebreaker may not come into play here. In fact, on a map like Canyon Ambush, typically it does not. Indeed, and both of these teams uh, enjoy playing quite aggressively, especially Red Team. So I do not see this going towards uh, the timer. Agreed. As all spots are going out right now, Sorrow is the only one not spotted. However, they probably have a general idea of where the Sorrow is. As shots are raining out, looks like the Artemis are raining out. They pick up the Artemis. Uh, yep, Tamsin picking up the Artemis of the Minette. Yep, that was a nice shot. However, they're quickly approaching out of arc of that Artemis. As the Sorrow's moving in from the side, looks like they're going to go for the Baka. However, it looks like they've put a full stop on as the Zaf's meat bicycle turns toward the Sorrow. Looks like they're going to wait to get the Minette in. Looks like that's what's going to happen here. Sorrow's going to distract for the Minette to move up. Minette does move up, and it now looks like uh, Stormriders is ready to make its play. Minette with the height advantage, however, height advantage on a Pyramidian, not exactly the best thing, as uh, it does have that nose cone to cover. Meanwhile, the Huacha goes out from the Sorrow, not picking up anything other than one gun from the Baka. As a mine goes out, as it actually hits both the Sorrow and the Baka, Baka gets hole broken from their own mine. Sorrow, however, is hole broken as well. And there's the, oh, that's a, that's an ugly Huacha for the Sundari Baka. They're hurt and now completely disabled. That is the one thing that Red Side did not want. That means Kill Squid is out of the picture for right now. However, Sorrow not able to capitalize as they're not able to rise up. Meet Bicycle taking a permahol, uh, taking a permahol hit from Gats. No follow up though. Flip side though, Sorrow was kind of forced down and out of the fight. So while uh, Sundar Baka rebuilds, which he's mostly done, they're able to get some focus fire going on the Minet. Indeed. 
And there's Hallbreak once again on the minette as Banshees rained out maybe a little too soon there. But the Sorrow's back with a Watcha going into the Meat Bicycle. And looks like they'll probably do a 2v1 on the Baka as the Sorrow with a great block there on the Baka. What a block right there. Getting the perma hall break, uh, getting the hall break on the uh, on the Baka as well. Great job in, in positioning. However, the Minette has been hallbroken, and now the Baka looking to return the favor on the Minette. This engagement is getting very messy. Not clear who's gonna come out on top of this. Oh, as oh, that could be I'm about blue. To use my words. Yeah, as yeah. Uh, Storm Riders looks like they've taken that advantage right there. And the Baka has the back turn to the Sorrow. However, they've got about five seconds before that Watcher comes back out. They need to make sure if they're going to escape this and survive, they need to time this. And there goes the Watcha. And two engines down. Two engines in the hole break. That could do it right there. That could be enough. It's worth noting as uh, Sundar Baka started to make his escape, he had very little balloons. So he's relying on the yeah, that'll do mobility it. Four, with two. the Watcha pointed into his rear. 4 2 in favor of Storm Riders in red spawn. And Zaf's Meat Bicycle has spawned early. And Blue is on the hunt. Storm Riders is on the hunt. Maybe, I, maybe I'm going to have to eat my words from earlier myself. As I said, uh, Baby Zeal Club has arrived. Oops. <laughs> they, they definitely have improved. Forget the scoreboard for just a second. They have definitely improved here. As the Bacchus spawns on the flank. Hold that thought just a second here. Baca may be able to, if they are quick enough, they could pick up the Minette and make it a 2v1. Indeed, this could be a, a reverse of what we saw in the first engagement. Super Except for the part where the Meat Bicycle has been hole broken down to 40% perma. Nope, they won't be in time. Indeed. I did say could be. Yes. Definitely was not. <laughs> nope, was not. <laughs> However, I will say, forget the scoreboard for just a second. Other than really... I, all of this match came down to I gotta give Arius credit he may, oh, excuse me, it wasn't Arius, it was Finks give Finks credit after the one mistake that was made uh, in the prior match or, or in the prior engagement, the very first engagement after that one mistake, Finks's body block may have saved that match for Storm Riders forget the 5-2 part of it, if he doesn't make that body block, does Storm Riders win? I don't know